Hello, today's video we have the following content. Zhao Lin and Wang Yibo's new drama is very popular but failed to break through the industry. What's wrong with this tone? In March this year, the drama market finally became lively, with hot hits appearing one after another. The launch of Walking with the Phoenix on Tencent Video and Mango TV on March 18th, and the launch of Storm Chaser on IKIE on March 21st, both set new highs in the platform's drama field this year. Go broke Tencent Video's 30,000 views within 26 hours of its launch, setting a record for Tencent Video's fastest entry into the hit club. Storm Chaser has also become IKIE's first blockbuster drama this year with over 10,000 hits. In early April, these two series, which totaled 39 and 38 episodes respectively, also came to an end. Unfortunately, contrary to expectations, although the popularity of the two dramas is still very high, The Storm Chaser has received 400 million comments, and Traveling with the Phoenix has been sought after by many viewers after starting advanced screening. The seemingly lively drama, even at the end, failed to break the circle, nor did it spread any hot memes on social media becoming a national-level drama that leads all major social media. From hot hits to breakouts, why is this gap so difficult to bridge? What do today's audiences like to watch? Objectively speaking, although Walking with the Phoenix and Storm Chaser both have dubbing scores of over 7 points, both dramas are well-produced and have good stories. They are above-average domestic dramas of the same type. Full stop. As a fairy tale drama, the two leading actors chosen for Walking with the Phoenix can be called top matches. Zhao Lin and Lin Jenkson have already become difficult partners for the audience in The Legend of Chu Kiao, and they join forces again this time. Kama respectively playing the roles of Shen Li, King of Blue Kang in the spirit world, and Xing Zi, the ancient true god, which has a bit of a renewed relationship meaning, and also ignited the enthusiasm of the audience, making the show highly anticipated before it was broadcast. At the story level, although the character relationships and story types are still relatively traditional fairy tale drama models and lack of new ideas, on this basis, it also leaves a lot of room for growth for the two protagonists, especially the character shown by Shen Li. The growth of women, their strength in facing difficulties and their strong sense of independence also bring certain new ideas to the characters. In the growth process of Shen Li and Xing Zi, every change is logical, and the mutual waiting and love are relatively natural and there are no plots that are too abrupt or outrageous. The acting skills of Zhao Lin and Lin Jenkson are far beyond those of ordinary popular stars. They can well shape the layers of their characters. The humorous interaction between the two also gives the whole drama a good look and feel. What is rare is that compared to the recent imbalance in visual effects production and fairy tale dramas of the same type, such as The Hidden God and Pray for the Present, Traveling with the Phoenix has maintained a relatively high level of production. Although compared to American TV dramas or blockbuster movies, the presentation of CG visual effects is still not up to the level of fake and real, but it is no longer enough to distract the audience from key plot points, and the overall degree of completion in fairy tale dramas is very high. Similarly, as a period drama of the Republic of China, the quality of the Storm Chaser is also superior among similar dramas. Needless to say, the two most talked about leading actors, Wang Yibo and Li Qin, have already had many well-received works. Comma their roles as Wei Ruole and Shen Han respectively in this drama were also well-received by the audience. The other leading actors Wang Yang and Wang Zuki are all top-notch in quality and acting skills. Lan Zhe, one of the supporting actors, has also attracted the attention of the audience for her previous performance in The Three Buddy Problem. As a period drama, The Storm Chaser does not deliberately follow the routines of ordinary theme dramas. It uses finance as the entry point which novelly reflects one of the well-known aspects of Shanghai Sea Feud before liberation, and also allows the audience to watch in a certain era, the psychological state of high-tech people changes. For example, Shen Tunin, played by Wang Yang, changes from a senior advisor to the Kuomintang to Comrade Gu Yan. As the story develops, the characters also face choices brought about by changes in the situation. Not only Wei Ruolei and Shen Jinshen, but also Lin Kaiya Song played by Shen Tunin and Zhang Xiyan Yang all have obvious character arcs. At the production level, in order to restore the fireworks of old Shanghai, director Yao Ziya Feng led the team to accurately restore the style of Shanghai in the 1930s, including the overall reproduction of Kebao Old Street, which greatly improved the overall quality of the entire drama. Full stop. This kind of texture that allows the characters to fall into real life is also rare in pasts by dramas. No matter from any angle, 
we can see that there is no problem with the quality of walking with the Phoenix and Storm Chaser, but perhaps for today's audiences, only good performances in conventional genre dramas will may not meet their expectations. What's the problem? It must be admitted that in the current market, it is much more difficult to create a national-level TV series that can break through the industry than in the past. The de facto formation of niche markets, the distraction of audience attention by short videos, and the rapid growth of short dramas that directly hit the audience's core emotional value have had a very serious impact on traditional long-form TV series. When the audience's tastes have changed, we cannot turn back time. We can only find a difficult road to success in the gap between being able to cater to and lead. Looking back on 2023, the paths of hurry and flowers to break out of the circle are actually different. One is unexpected and reasonable, while the other is based on hard work and determination. Zhang Songwen had already worked hard to gain recognition in the industry before Hurry Up, with an all-acting cast, and the lack of young popular actors turned out to be an advantage. Flowers has been honing its sword for 10 years, using the most luxurious Shanghai lineup to present to the audience a new era of Shanghai past in the most gorgeous form. Key elements are easy to copy, and mature genres can find methodologies, but whether they can really break through the circle depends on the right time, the right place and the right people, and luck is also very important. A mature genre is a double-edged sword, which can ensure the lower limit of the influence of the series. However, when the popularity of the entire genre turns from high to low, it will become a shackle that makes it difficult to reach a higher level of influence. The costume fairy tale drama of Walking with the Phoenix and the Spy War period drama of The Storm Chaser were both genres that were once popular, from Legend of Sword and Fairy to Chen Qing Ling, from Leighton to The Pretender, these two genres have shaped many classic national dramas, which the audience will never forget. However, as time goes by, a large number of highly homogenized and uneven content have appeared together, making the audience tired. It is an indisputable fact that these two genres have lost their freshness in the hearts of the audience and have begun to decline. And it must be admitted that the timing of the broadcast is similar to the schedule of the movie. It is very important whether the audience is on vacation. Crazy is creating crazy topics during the Spring Festival, and the order of mountains and rivers and Kanglinju also gained huge popularity during the summer flow. In terms of humanity, the average age group of the audience of Xiangxia drama is relatively low. Because students are an important target audience, it is naturally easier to gain more attention when it is broadcast during the summer vacation. When students are faced with heavy academic work in March and April, and newcomers in the workplace are struggling with their work plans for the new year, there is less time for viewing and discussion. What do the more general and popular audiences like to watch and discuss now? Looking back at the breakout national dramas Hurry and Flowers from the beginning to the end of 2023, we may be able to get some inspiration. In terms of story background, both Hurry and Flowers are close to the current audience, but they do not completely overlap with reality. Both started in the 1990s. Although there is a certain distance in the span of more than 20 years, as the story unfolds, what the characters have experienced is exactly the golden age in which China's economy has continued to take off over the past 20 years. The protagonists completed the class jump by relying on the dividends from economic development and changes in the times. The success of Hurry Up lies precisely in the extremely successful portrayal of the character Gao Kikyang, allowing the audience to fully follow him through his life of counterattack from the bottom. Although he went astray in pursuit of success, his struggles along the way were extremely real and vivid. Every time he stepped onto a step, he was accompanied by many difficulties and setbacks, but he himself was affectionate and righteous. He has a strong personality and a strong charisma. In Flowers, a Bao, played by Huja, is also a boss who came from the bottom and quickly made a name for himself in Shanghai. The touching love and hatred he had with several women were also based on his own legend to a certain extent. What's more, under the direction of Wang Karwai, Flowers has a remarkable stylization. It is also a unique audiovisual product. The cost of use is far higher than that of ordinary dramas. It provides the audience with an audiovisual feast that is not inferior to the big screen. The protagonists are also it seems to be shrouded in a golden halo and dazzling. It can be seen that when the drama has a protagonist with certain emotions that can resonate with the audience, it may be more likely to impress the current audience and successfully break through the circle. This empathy may be slightly different than in the past. In the popular national dramas of the past, the audience's aesthetics and preferences are more diverse. They can be a little girl who travels back to ancient times and falls in love with a prince and is protected, 
Or she can be a great hero who travels between the worlds of immortals and demons but cannot win the sincerity of a woman. Comma There are also many breakout national dramas that have successfully promoted the leading actors to the top class, including Xiao Zan, Wang Yibo, Wang Hidi, and earlier Yang Zi, Li Xian, etc. Today's audiences may prefer to see an emotional projection that is relevant to themselves and satisfies themselves, which is relatively difficult to achieve in reality. Counter attack is one of the most core and important emotions. This kind of interest in watching dramas is also closely related to the current environment. Compared with movies, the audience's demand for dramas will be more specific. If watching movies is just to experience the spectacle of just two hours, dramas will have a long-term companionship effect. What kind of life are young people experiencing today? Work is no longer about realizing dreams. Postgraduate and public examinations have become the mainstream. Layoffs and salary cuts are inevitable. Especially in big cities, stable and high-paying jobs in large factories seem to have become yesterday's legend. Many traditional industries are also facing the pain of industrial upgrading. For this reason, the annual meeting can't stop. Only the Guangjin plan and Guangjin can resonate with so many audiences. However, high rents and consumption have not decreased. Faced with the difficulties of life, many viewers, instead of looking for distant dreams on a small screen, would rather find ways to make up for their inner shortcomings in reality. Even expanding the horizons, the story of Counterattack is no longer limited to dramas. The short drama industry that has exploded in the past two years has taken it to the extreme. Countless short dramas that attract viewers to continue to pay to watch all use Counterattack as the core theme. For the audience, there may be very few opportunities to successfully counterattack in life, but it is always right to have some daydreaming in the short drama. Behind the news that the short play's recharge revenue exceeded 100 million, it carries the good wishes of many ordinary viewers for success. In addition, whether the values are correct has also become an important symbol that affects the reputation and communication of the series. For example, the awakening of female consciousness has gradually become mainstream, which has also caused changes in the originally mature market environment. There are many important genres, such as fairy tale dramas, youth dramas, and idol dramas, where the core foundation is the establishment of a love relationship. But nowadays, if you find a tycoon to fall in love with, it will be greasy and vulgar. However, how to express the independence and strength of women while satisfying audiences with different appreciation levels poses a great challenge to the creators, one more point will drive away the general male audience, and one less point will make female viewers think that they are cheating. The head is sold as dog meat. Of course, there are no solutions. Flowers is a very good example. The portrayal of Ling Zi, Miss Wang and Lily in the play is very precise and touching. But behind this is the continuous creation of top film director Wang Karwai for decades. The accumulation of classic female characters, which are built on mountains such as Jurging Express, in the mood for love in the Grandmaster, cannot be imitated by any other creator. In the end, we cannot predict when the first national drama series with a real circle-breaking effect will be born in 2024. However, in the market, more and more creators have grasped the general living environment of the current audience and mentality and better understand how to reach a tacit understanding with the audience. While creating based on the genre, making the characters and stories more in line with market sentiment may be the biggest problem facing the creators of film and television dramas today. Thank you for watching the video. If this is your first time watching a video, please subscribe to the channel, like and leave your comments to help us develop your channel.